Hey, welcome to the tech shop. Uh, we're here at New Life Scientific. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about microtomes. Uh, we just got a, a, a slew of them in. Thought you might enjoy seeing differences and talking about some of the different models and features and, and, and the differences and what you can expect. Um, here we have two uh, Shannon uh, Finesse 325s. Uh, fully um, manual microtomes. Uh, they require no electricity other than, a, than some batteries uh, to run control of the uh, counter and alarm system. It does alarm uh, when your, your blade is, to, is at your maximum and minimum positions. Um, the blade retraction is done by a knob here to the side, in, out, pulls your knife blade in and out. Um, and of course, being that it's non-electric, you do have to power it by hand. Um, great little units. Um, they're, they have a, a very much different design than the unit and appears to be one of the longer life units as far as made for a longer period of time. These are both Vaness 325s, yet there's considerably amount of age difference. Um, to them. Also, if you're planning to keep your machine a long time, these are a good model to consider uh, because they are easy to lubricate and oil and do some maintenance on. Um, onto them, this lid comes off very easily. Allowing you to get into the insides to lubricate um, uh, your action onto it. The bottom is open and also replace your batteries. Replacing the batteries on these are, are, are important uh, so you know when you're at your limits. Um, if you do, you don't replace your battery and you don't, um, and you overfeed it, it will uh, temporarily break the unit and you have to go in underneath and, and re reattach some parts. Um, all the knife blades on all the units, the Fabric 25, then we get into the Micron, all the knives are very similar um, uh, in design that's been fixed for a number of years as far as fixed in place that there's not been no leap in technology. Um, uh, moldable uh, uh, levels of operation from angle of attack, uh, distance, um, and I guess probably the newest feature that is on this knife and, um, and not on that knife, and it's actually on almost all the rest of the units, is that this does have a lateral um, knife movement so that you can put in your, in your blade, adjust your knife down so you're cutting on a fresh section of blade. Um, some of the older units, uh, the older designs, um, you can still move the uh, move them. This one has a, a nifty uh, blade guard a asterisk movable as you push it forward. The rings on your blade guard will, cert will encase the blade and as you push it will move the blade down to another spot. Um, so a very interesting design on that. Um, the Leica is a mainstay of um, uh, of units. Again, another completely manual uh, unit. There's this, uh, 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 yeah, there's no battery on this one. Back to the, 320, the, um, the 325, it, the, there is a plug-in that runs the counter, but it is not a requirement at all um, on the unit. It is just there for your convenience um, to run the unit. Now, uh, for some reason, almost all the microtomes have a tendency of the paint not to stick onto them. So if you're buying an old unit, you're probably gonna get some paint spear, smear um, or, or, or heavy fading. Um, also, what you may or may not get, and you need to consider if it's important to you, is a waste tray. There's a waste tray. Uh, on, on used units, they are rare. They do come off to be emptied. They either, they get dropped and broken, chipped or just don't make it to the, uh, to the unit. Uh, the Leica, um, as I said, one of the mainstays in the industry 
great machine in internally. It is a work of art of the engineering uh, that's in there. Um, it, is, it is a little tricky to work on if you ever have to go in, but being this is the mainstay, you can always find somebody to work on a Leica. Again, similar type operation as all th these units do. It does have your, your, your advance wheel um, uh, to advance and retract your unit. Um, uh, you, of course, your cutter wheel, your adjustments um, there. Um, uh, you know, very easy to, um, to, to run machine um, uh, with your uh, adjustment on your angle of attack on your specimen. Again, um, um, uh, a moldable, actually two different axes to be able to, to take different bites um, uh, to move your blade. Because you can move it down there as well as up here. I'm not sure why two of them were designed in that unit. Um, so then we get into your, elect your, your entry into the electronic models. Those, as I said, were totally manual systems, power only to do the counter. When you get into the 325E, the E being the electronic, then you begin to get into a, uh, it's electronically controlled and the motor, uh, and a motorized advance and retract. So that when you want to move the blade forward and back, um, it's done strictly on those buttons there. Um, you, you, it's digitally here, so you can you change your, your feed and trim, um, change to which menu you're gonna be going on either side. And I've probably been pushing on the button and the system's not been on. Um, so when you push your button, you chain from your feed to your trim. Now, when you push, when you push, turn the wheel, it's going to advance that amount. Um, uh, and so you can very easily switch between your, your feed, um, which does take me back to another feature on this. Since it is so easy to change between your feed and trim, some of the older models, they, they begin to add the lever that added the trimming function. So no matter what your dial was set for, for your, for your sectioning um, amount, when you push this lever and turn your wheel, it would move either 10, millimeter, 10 uh, microns or 35 microns in this machine. This is a dual position. So you push it down a little bit, it's a 10 micron um, feed, and press it down harder and it goes into the 35. Where on with the model 325, it's a single. It's only got the one, the one distance. But it is a nice feature when you want to, to move ahead in the, in the cutting. Then you get in, into your full motorized electronic units. Um, you can use a, a, a pedal option. Um, all sorts of feedback uh, as far as how much you have uh, left to go. Um, uh, in the in the stroke um, electronic blade lock so that it can it doesn't move uh, even though there's a uh, emergency stop on it uh, all sorts of feedback you can set your controls to run continuously or in, uh, until you press the button again go a single stroke go multiple strokes go just until you press that blade there is just a host of options uh, including window setting um, which only makes sense in a motorized unit because it will change the speed of the motorized cut uh, to give you a better finish on your cut and a better slide, which is what, we're, what you're after. Um, a very easy to use, um, very nice unit, does require a little bit more maintenance. There are more things to go wrong. Micron as well as the Leica and the Shannon are all well-made units, so you can't really go wrong. Uh, as, as long as you're buying from a reputable dealer that's done the lubrication, done the testing, um, done his homework, um, and dis uh, described well. So that's uh, a, a, a quick study of what some of the micro micron uh, microtomes that are available out there. Um, if you're in the market for one, let us know. We'll let you know what we have and uh, what we can do for you.
Thank you very much.